My name's Alan Hart and today we're going to look at how to power flush and flush a plate heat exchanger. So I've just got a new power flush machine and when I ordered the power flush machine I also ordered some adapters to clean plate heat exchangers. So we get this plate heat exchanger and we get muck inside here from the system. We can also get scale in the system as well. So you can flush you can flush these out. Now in most cases you might just throw them away and put another one in. Um, but you can buy these adapters. So you can buy an adapter that you can connect onto your power flush machine. So what I thought is I thought I'd do that and we'll we'll do a video of how to do it and how to flush it. So you get your adapters so you get two of them I'll just show you these so only one side is working on this so you've got water going into it water coming through here and then the water will go through the plate heat exchanger and then it'll go back through that one and then out the other side of there so what I'll do now is I'll connect that onto the plate heat exchanger so in the packet you get the connectors and then you get some o-rings so you just put your o-rings in there and then you get your plate heat exchanger and you see which side of it you want to flush and then the side you want to flush you make sure this side of it goes onto the side you're going to flush so in, the, in this case if we have a look at this one I don't know if you can see in there to be honest but that is this side that's mucky so what we're going to do we're going to connect them onto there in line with that so very easy these have got to line up with these So you might want to put some chemicals in the machine here but just for demonstration purposes I'm just going to show you it flushing through so we'll just turn the machine on I know what I've got now, I've got water going through that heat exchanger got a little bit of a leak on here resistance in there is probably quite high so it's leaking a little bit on that So I've just reversed that as well, so it's going the other way. So that's just flushing through there now, and that heat exchanger, it's hot as that now. So on this power flush machine, we've got it on there, so it's 60 degrees. So this has got a built-in heater. So if we're doing this, it's really good, because we can feel, feel on there that it's working. So that actually might be quite good. So these adapters don't fit all the plates. Um, so you'd have to make sure it fits the plate that you've got. But it may be that you can connect one side and then you can just flush out the other side. So I think I'd possibly be tempted just to connect hose pipe up. Because I'm not sure that I'd want to connect all power flush machine up just to flush a plate. But if you were doing a power flush on a job and you've already got all chemicals in and that then it might be worth cleaning the plate out so it's just just an option really thank you for taking the time to watch our video